Hi everybody, welcome back to Coding and Creating. In our last lesson, we recorded the backing track to Lion Sleeps Tonight. Just to remind you, um, we recorded a bass part, and I'm going to click right here on this little icon to remind you. We used the autoplay features in the chords to uh, play four beats of C major, F, C, and G, and it ended up sounding like this. That's the F chord, then C, and then G7. Then we tapped on the, the each recording and we looped it, and it made these eight measures. We did the same thing for the guitar. For the drummer, we went and we added some virtual drummers to our um, song so that we could um, add a percussion track. Now today, uh, you may want to record uh, a melody line on an instrument or sing the song. And to do that, you're going to need more than eight bars of music. You're going to need more than eight measures. So right over here in this right-hand corner where I'm wiggling my pencil, there's a plus sign right here. So if we hit this plus sign, it's called Song Sections. Right now we have section A that is eight measures, and we have two choices. One says Duplicate, and one says Add. If I say add, what it does, I'm going to click on all sections just so I can see both sections of the song, is it just adds the percussion, but it doesn't add anything in the other instrumental tracks. I'm going to hit undo just so that we can see this. And, and just to clear this out of the way, I'm just going to tap right there just to clean up my screen a little bit for you. I'm going to click the plus sign here again. This time I'm going to choose duplicate. So when I say duplicate, it just copies the entire section, okay? I'm going to click back on this plus, and if you want to just work on a particular section, you can click on it. It will show measures one through eight for the A section. If I tap here, and then I just tap off of it, now it just focuses on measures nine through 16. Um, or if I want to work with my whole song or play the entire song, I can just say all sections. And so now it would just play my entire song. So. Uh, the nice thing about having these sections is you can make cool modifications. So let's say we, we decided that we don't want the guitar to come in until the second section of the song. I could tap here, I could delete it, I could also trim it and do things like that, but let's say I just want it to sound like this. So we've got to start off with just the bass and the drums. Maybe, uh, maybe it plays for a few measure, then comes in. Then in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Then with the guitar. Da, 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 da. So you see how you can sort of help your song build and add new parts. You could hit the plus sign and add new instruments that come in in different sections. Let's say we decided to have like a little bit of an intro introduction. Let's say we wanted to modify this beginning. You could hit the plus and I could go to this A section and say, I, you know what, I just want that to be, um, I just want that to be two measures of just the bass and the drums, and then we'll start singing right there. Let's try that. So it would be just. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Right, so you could sort of play around with things like that. Um, or if you don't decide you don't like it, you can always hit undo and it will bring it back to where you had it. So adding new measures is as simple as clicking this plus and you can duplicate sections or you can add them. If you want to duplicate, you can see it's grayed out here. You have to choose what section you want to duplicate and it will add it in. 